Well, hey guys, and as you can see, I've made a grievous error of decision making, of wasting my money in game. Now I'm in a carrier, and what the hell has happened to my screen? Anyway, yes, the USS Independence. Let's do this, shall we? Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're, we're, we're doing it, apparently. Yeah, I think your biggest threat's gonna be the Leander and the Aoba. Yeah, I'm just plotting my route on the map because the first thing you wanna do as a carrier is always keep moving. Because one thing I know as a battleship player, Danny, is that I look at where the aircraft are coming from and sail towards that point. Because if I see where they're returning to... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty straightforward. Me, I go to where they're, they're returning to to go and find the TV I can bastard to gun them down. Yeah, well, it's I'm not, it's not difficult. No, no. It's not difficult to figure out where they're coming from. Let's get everything airborne. I believe we have a battleship over there already. And it's yeah. Normandy. Shall we go through the French? Mm-hmm. I usually like to send my fighters to round back to the middle of the map so then I can intercept whatever's coming out. That's what I will do. Yeah, this is really weird. This is like playing a board game in World of Warships, honestly. Such a weird experience for a battleship player who dabbles in cruisers that now I'm stuck in a top-down yeah. RTS, essentially. I want to change this. This little icon here lets me change the direction of my torps so I can actually make a better attack on this fat French bastard. Yeah, just throwing up my uh, spot uh, there's plane. There's Leander heading that way as well, so... You know what, I'm going to rotate my axis of attack to keep away from the cruiser. I don't want to basically... That Leander's going to be a pain for you if it gets close. That's why he's. That's why I've changed my angle of attack to come from the far side, not the Leander's side. That way uh -huh. I'm not going to overfly him and risk getting my aircraft shot down. Let's get, uh... So we're spotting everybody here. We're rolling in on Normandy. The dive bombers are coming in as well. We're under attack. Okay, Angle's changing of Normandy, so I'm just going to come straight in here. want to make sure I'm still aiming broadside on the ship so I've got more chance of hitting him. Here we go. This side, please. Yes, switch Victor's shells. Turn. I'm just going to be throwing stuff yep, at Leander go. for the time being, keep okay, him... boom. Drops in the water. Trying to turn into it, but I'm going to catch him. Oh, say goodbye, my friend. Boom, boom. He's not dead, but he's serious abdominal pain. Let's see where the other aircraft are. We've got aircraft on the far flank, so deploying the oh, fighters. damn it. Take out their fighters first. That's a bigger job. Get my aircraft back to the carrier. Danny or Legio Mortis, aka Lego Tortoise, is heading up here in New Mexico, so he's running battleship for this. Where is my ship? My ship's here, sailing along the route I plotted. If you want to know how to do that, you can basically set, click, set a track, shift and then click, sets the extra waypoints so you can set a whole route. My fighters, I believe, are gunning down their fighters. Or a dogfighting with their fighters, and I think we're winning, question mark? Oh, we got someone! Yeah, nobody's down. Hey, flooding got him. Nice. So I got my first kill as a CV. I, I, is this the start of a different me? Am I about to become one of those assholes that plays CVs? Yes, because CVs are amazing. Right, I'm turning. Okay, go. I'm just doing a hard turn because you've got... Um... What's next oh, to shoot God. at? Well, Leander is still out there. Where's my fighters? And you've got the Bayern heading that way as well, so... I'm going after their... Uh... The dive bombers next. Someone dropped tops in the water, but I don't yeah. think they're going to reach you because you're 8.5 kilometers away from me, so there's no yeah, way I'm they're going to reach you. I'm good. No, it's just weird. As a battleship player, I, there's a lot of things I've learned from avoiding aircraft carriers that I can turn around and apply to playing oh. as a carrier, you know? We're good. Leander's actually turned nice. back and he's hiding behind the island. It just makes a lot of sense knowing how to avoid them. <sighs> I could kind of counter snipe, if that makes sense. Right. Yeah, What's the next biggest around. target? There's Leander over here. There's Leander and Bayern. There's yeah, your two that I don't are over like here. That risk, but I do want to go for Leander, maybe. 
they could Queen be a threat. Elizabeth is 19k out, so she's not going to hit anyone anytime soon. Okay, Leander's disappeared, so I need to get over there again. Actually, I'm going to go for the New York, because the New York is fat and slow, and I'm going to murder it. That's fair. So we're going to change our angle of the dive bombers as well, so we can strafe along the length of the ship, which makes for a better chance of hitting. Right, where's this? Oh, he's going all the way to the edge of the map, that Bayern. He is. Oh, okay, the fighters are down. Obviously, you want to constantly readjust those angles. You don't want to make sure that we miss things. You want to make sure that we're hitting directly side on for the torpedoes. And for the dive bombers, you want to make sure they're going longitudinal. So along the long axis of the ship. That way, you've got more chance of more bombs hitting rather than one or two hitting and missing if we go laterally. We keep an eye on our aircraft to approach where they are. We're on our route now down towards the New York. She'll disappear again, but she'll reappear because once the aircraft get within range, we'll have visual. We'll just update our actual attack profiles once we get closer. Guzzies. There we go. We have her again. So, torpedo attack distance will be like this. Battleship Danny, destroyer. Is there a button to change the spread of the torpedoes from the dive bombers, or is it fixed? Uh, I thought it was the same. Is it not the same uh, button as you do on a destroyer? No, because that's three. It's the same thing, and it's not doing it. Mm, I guess not then. No, don't return to ship. Attack that thing, please. So oh, we'll Leander's, there, our Leander's almost dead. Yep, realigning our attack profiles. Yes, got her. New York's got nowhere to go. Well, I just cleared out the Leander with a straight citadel. Nice. Hit. No, New York's turning. Good hit. We'll get one torpedo strike, I think. Alright, I've got yeah, iron. Enough. He's right. dodging gonna... by the New York. He's beached himself though, Danny, if you want to hit him. Um, he's on the other side of the island. I can't uh -huh. do shit at the moment. I'm trying to pan round because there's a destroyer there as well. Uh, what have we got? Yan Wei. Right clicking on an area of the mini map like this can take you to that area. So it's a nice quick way to navigate when you're in this kind of tabletop mode. I'm looking for aircraft symbols on the map to show we where send our fighters here just so we're in a ready position. I'm a blind hit on that. And wait for our aircraft to return to the boat. Get her back in the air again. Okay, so Independence has made her trip here. Fuck. What have you got now? Uh, no, the New York, he was beached on this side of the island. Oh, you So I'm actually facing him. Three seconds, so my guns are re uh, nice. reloaded. Yeah, because he beached himself over there. You could flatten that guy. I yeah. hope you like being toasty. He panicked and turned into uh, into the rocks. Okay, he's on fire now as well. So two. Pick up the fighters first. Yes, run away, you bastards! Run away. Ah, uh, that New York's gone. He's toast. Oh, he's oh there's two squadrons of fighters here. Ah, uh, got some ways firing at someone else. We're in flank yeah. over here. Koenig got the New York. I'm going to aim back out to these Yamwe. Kind of cool seeing the little dogfight going on here. We are winning, just, but we want to get out of this area fast. Get away from... No, in fact, screw this, we're out of here. Go, 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 take out the torpedo bombers. They're going to hurt our guys. I think we're still engaged, so we can't yet. Oh, we're on fire. Ah, I'm on fire. What the... Shit, snacks. Oh, shit, you've got a destroyer right near Yes, you. I do. It's a Fubuki. Destination reached. Uh... Deja vu. Time to drift, time oh, to drift, time to drift. It. drift. It's okay. I'm taking manual control now. Manual control. Tokyo Drift Tile. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No balls. No, I'm not turning. I've taken one hit. Here come torpedo bombers. Full power, full power. Turn, 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 turn. I'm going to catch more here. Oh, the dodging is premium. Oh, there we go. Oh, I am toast. Yeah. Um, pro tip for new CV players. Watch what's happening to your boat and what is near it. Because if you don't pay attention like I didn't, you go asplody, which is bad. So, that was my first foray. I've done one game in co-op before I went out in full-on regular quick play. 
this is my first one in random battle with a carrier. My first ever game with a carrier. I've watched a few videos of people who've played them before. I recommend you do that yourselves. If, that, if you already watched this one, you probably gained a few tips from me. Think about what you do as a regular player to fight off aircraft carriers, what you do to combat them, how you avoid their aircraft, how you find them and sink the carriers. Think of those things yourself. Because when you're playing as a carrier, it means you can think around those problems. Like where to target the ship, how to aim your bombs, where you're going to attack from. Because you don't want to run your torpedo bombers or dive bombers slowly on an attack profile past cruisers and destroyers. Attack from a different side. Think ahead, plan. And you know what? I will give them credit. It's actually a fairly fun play way of playing the game. It might not be my way of playing the game. And I still think DVs are sky cancer. But at the same time, I appreciate what they do and how hard it is. So there you go. That was my first look at aircraft carriers in World of Warships. I'm not sold. I still hate them. But it is fun to play. If you enjoyed the video, guys, drop us a like. Subscribe if you are not already. Hit the bell notification icon to see more videos from this and other games. And thank you for coming. Bye.